Hello everybody and welcome to the Vicky Bello vlog. Yay! Today is a special day because I have two very, very pretty girls to be our guests and our money is flying. We are playing the trivia game. We are going to ask them questions about some trivia and let's see who's the smarter one. Actually, it's not smart. It's really who is the street smart one. Please welcome the very beautiful... Who first? My daughter, Scarlett Snowbello. Hi! <laughs> and Hope Soberano on my right. Ako, in-invite ko lang siya sa lunch. Bigla na lang. Meron na siyang <laughs> YouTube. But you know, you have to find content wherever you can. So let's begin the challenge. Name a movie star whose name starts with the letter A. Angelina, Angelina Jolie. <laughs> what? I have a girl. Well, I don't know any movie star. It's okay. <laughs> It's okay, so hope a movie star is like uh, Ninang Akritis, it's a movie star. Oh, no. Margot Robbie, never mind. Mm -hmm. Next. Okay. <laughs> Name. <laughs> oh, ito dapat alam mo, ha? Name a Disney princess from Norway. Elsa. Elsa, Elsa is from Norway. Okay, That's right. Scarlet wins 2000 on her side. Okay, elaborate. Elsa, how do you know Elsa's from Norway? Remember, we just came from the Arctic. YouTube. Yeah, oh, YouTube. Okay, <laughs> so you do learn something from YouTube. Wait. Is Elsa really from Norway? Yes. Okay, so. Because it's not Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid from Denmark. Oh, you yeah. tell them Little Mermaid. Little is Mermaid from Denmark. From Denmark. Yes. Yeah. Rapunzel from is from Sweden. Sweden. Rapunzel is from Sweden. Oh, Rapunzel. Oh, see, alam mo ba yan? No, oh, I didn't. Diba? So we have a picture with you and Maybe the little I'll mermaid. tell you how all three movies are connected. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, you can tell us now. We need to extend yeah. this thing. <laughs> Why? All uh, three movies are connected because at the end of the, fr the movie Frozen, mm -hmm. and Elsa and Anna's coronation, mm -hmm. I'm oh, not yeah. sure. You see Rapunzel, right? Yes, and Flynn at yeah. the bottom left on the screen. Yeah, you see them walking towards. Yeah. Elsa and Anna's parents claimed that when they were going on the shipwreck, mm -hmm. they were going to Flynn and Rapunzel oh. when they got married. They said oh. that. So then, and then the shipwreck happened. Mm -hmm. But is that connected so, to Tarzan? Yes. Yes, I heard that too. Yes, and uh, maybe that might be the shipwreck that Ariel saw mm -hmm. in the beginning of the movie. Oh, okay. Makes see, sense. so smart when it comes to Disney, but also smart in school. Mm -hmm. Okay, famous dinosaur. T Rex. Who? Who? T Rex. T -Rex. T-Rex. That's the first thing any, okay. anyone would yeah. talk about. That's what I was going to say, too. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> She's like, it's okay. I should win. Okay. 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 <laughs> well, name a luxury designer. Chanel. I oh, am yeah. very good. <laughs> Chanel ka pala, girl. You know What's a luxury designer? <laughs> I should stay. Tito luxury and... designers like Prada, Gucci. Chanel. Who, who built their house in Tamarin? Not a luxury designer. That's an uh, Tito Ramon. architect. Not... Tito Ramon is not a luxury designer. Tito Ramon is an architect. <laughs> right. By the way, Hope and I are so excited because we are going to Fashion Week Yay. in Milan. Yes, Next we are. Month. Yes. Are you coming? Is Daddy coming with you? You know what? Daddy wants to go with us. But Scarlett and I, Diba Scarlett, we're always, we bonded so much in the Arctic. We're always together 24 7. So Scarlett has separation anxiety now when any of us leave. <laughs> right, Scarlett? But then we cannot bring her all the time because that's why, Scarlett. School. School. I hate school. <laughs> <laughs> you hate school because? Do you really hate school? Or you just love being with daddy and mom? Oh. oh, my favorite subject is recess. Oh, <laughs> what? What's your least favorite my subject? My favorite subject is recess. Why don't you like recess? Yeah, no, my favorite subject is recess. My favorite subject is recess. Well, how come the teachers say you're doing well in school if you don't like school? I like recess. You look at them. I like recess. Why would you do during recess, love? I make the school faster so I can do recess. Ah, okay. Were you like that also, Hope? How were you in school? I like school, actually. Okay. Yeah. Sort of. <laughs> I really like learning new things, and I I'm also competitive a uh -huh. bit. So yeah, I like. But I'm having still good gonna training. win. Yeah, you. I heard that you're very smart and that you're at the top of your class. Are you competitive, like her? I think so. Okay, let's turn this. 
<laughs> She's like, okay, let's go, let's play. Oh, you good? Next question is name a Pokemon that starts with letter B. Buzzwool. Kino? Buzzwool. Buzzwool. Please spell. It's a muscular cockroach. A <laughs> muscular cockroach. Okay, I think you better get into Pokemon. Just yeah. Just imagine you want to I know nothing Excuse about Pokemon. Buzz was an ultra beast. Is he the it one? It looks like a giant muscular cockroach and he's orange. Oh, okay. Okay. What's the one that's blue, like um, like teal, like blue greenish, that looks like a turtle? Tortuga? Maybe. Like a turtle baby. Squirtle? Not, maybe it's Squirtle. Yeah, maybe it's Tortuga? Squirtle. Tortuga? I'm not Caracosta? sure. Where did you see them? <laughs> I don't watch that. Caracosta? I'm, I'm not sure. Tortuga? I'm not sure. I don't know the name. I just know what it looks like. Well, later we'll make you turn. We'll cover all the names of the Pokemon. We'll see if you can name them all. Because if she was as good in school as she is in Pokemon, <laughs> we would be summa cum laude. <laughs> okay, trivia. Okay, listen to this. This is a little complicated, Scarlett and Hope. Okay. Trivia. Mary has four daughters. I know. They have four daughters. And each daughter has two brothers. Mm -hmm. How many children does Mary have? Again, Mary has four daughters and each daughter has two bro brothers. How many children does Mary have? Six. Six. <laughs> wow, okay, cool. Kai, you can get each guest two Really? So, can you explain? Because oh, the, since six. Okay. The, the daughters are all related and all the daughters have two brothers. So, and there's two brothers and all. So you just add four, four plus, plus two. two. Oh, that was very. That's fun. literally mass. You know, <laughs> which month of the year has twenty-eight days? So all of them. All of them. Oh wait, shoot, that's right. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> okay, return your two thousand because you're wrong. So what is your answer? I said February. It only has. A maximum of 48, uh, 28 days. No, 29. 29, I mean 29. Scarlett answered what? All of them. All of them. Why Scarlett? Because all, like, they can have 30 or 31, but all of them have 28. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Oh, okay. But me also, when You're you first right. 28, you know it's February. February, so yeah. <laughs> okay, finish the lyrics. I will just, I won't sing it because it will be too easy if I sing it and mm -hmm. it will rain. It has to be <laughs> today, so me measure good, Jan. Okay, the lyrics are, stop right now, thank you very much. Stop right now, thank you very much. I need somebody with the something touch. Huh? Okay, we can do another something touch. Human touch. With the okay. human One touch. One thousand just because all of them have the same touch. I don't know that song. <laughs> I know that song you were dancing to that before. Okay, next. Finish the lyrics. Well, hindi ko alam to. Hindi ko alam to. Is this my panamahan, Sam? Can I see? No, you may not see it. <laughs> it has to be Pantai. Okay. I can take myself dancing. I can. I can flowers. And I can hold my own hand. hand. Yeah, I can love me. Can love me. Can love me. Can love me. <laughs> I understand what the song is about, Scarlett. Mm -hmm. I can buy myself flowers. I can take myself dancing. Do you think she's happy or sad? Happy. Because? Because she's gonna dance. Because <laughs> she's gonna dance by herself. I, but but I, know. I think she's sad because I don't like dancing. I oh. have somebody here doesn't like to dance anymore. I'm so sad because I so, would love to dance. But Scarlett doesn't want to do TikTok to do So if What do you like, dancing or singing? Singing. I prefer singing, yeah. I also prefer singing. Okay. So that's all of you listen. I expect both of you to be able to answer this well. Scarlett? She's putting her hand Scarlett? Ready? Okay, are you ready? On finish a sentence. Okay. Only battle. Touch my, touch my skin. skin. Who touches yours? <laughs> You forgot the who touches yours. I know, you are complete. <laughs> okay, she gets a 2,000. You're okay. Fine. Okay. I said the first part though. <laughs> nice so did I. <laughs> okay, so yeah, Scarlett's when... too young. Okay, oh, Aww. Sorry, Aww. No, it's okay. You won. Yeah. It's only fair. Okay, so how does Bello touch your skin? How does Bello touch, touch my skin? 
I would purchase your Can phone. I jump on the couch? Yes, you <laughs> can. No, we were talking earlier. Um, well, I'd like everybody out there to feel a little better about themselves because, frankly, Hope has the most beautiful face and figure, I think. And, you know, when I look at her, I always say, well, she has everything. She's smart. She's articulate. But I just found out today at lunch that <laughs> You have a lot of insecurities. Oh, yes. <laughs> and I think it would be nice for you to share with them what mm -hmm. these are and why. Mm -hmm. So if you if you see people who you think they have everything, mm -hmm. in my 33 years in being in Bello Medical Group, I have to say that none of them, mm -hmm. none of them are really that secure. It's normal to feel insecure. It's abnormal to feel like you're perfect. So can you tell them what, why you have insecurities? Um, I think my number one insecurity would be my weight mm -hmm. like um i think that's no secret all throughout my showbiz career i would always get criticized for my weight fluctuating back and forth and you know like the rumors about me being pregnant just because i would gain a little bit of weight mm -hmm. um it would really affect my my mental health um mm -hmm. and when i think of myself i don't think of myself as someone who is overweight generally because um i'm I'm very actually health conscious, like I eat good, I, I make sure to exercise, I make sure to um, just live a healthy lifestyle. So I don't think I'm unhealthy, but because, you know, the demands of being in showbiz physically are like unattainable because I get I always get compared to girls that are smaller than me, my peers that are smaller than me. And because I'm a halfie, I also am a little bit on the bigger side. Um, I've always tend to like cover myself up like right now, like with bigger size clothing or with um, by dressing in the same silhouettes over and over again because that became my comfort zone. But aside from that, I'm also insecure about, um, I would say my skin, um, especially on my like on my legs, not my face, but my my body. Um, Cause I had really bad skin growing up cause I had like um, allergic reactions to like this the air change in environment because i grew up in america and i came here and all of a sudden i had like all these rashes coming up my legs and stuff and i kind of got bullied in school for that people would call me hi yo like instead of saying hi hope they would be like hi yo because no. like they well, said i had Tagalog word, yeah though. like hi yo like and they, they know that We're, here in school, the philippines, uh, school in the philippines. yeah people would because wow. they would say that i had like galis like a dog Mm -hmm. um, because my skin was my skin was really bad, and I used to play volleyball too. But I I would wear high socks to cover up my legs, um, so that also made me very insecure growing up. And then coming into showbiz, I remember people would always point out my knees and how they were like all scarred up, and also very dark compared to like everyone else who had flawless skin. So that also triggered insecurity in myself. And then more recently, I think my hair. I, we were talking about this earlier. Um, as I got older, my hair started thinning a bit due to, I got alopecia actually around mm -hmm. 2020 due to stress. And then also, I guess just the nature of the industry that we're in, we're constantly doing hair, get, getting our hair and makeup done. Uh, constantly, Hata. yeah, constantly under um, a lot of pressure. So stress also causes hair fall and then lack of sleep, mm -hmm. so. That's true. Yeah. But of course, one thing I'd like to point out to everyone is the way Hope wears her hair. Mm -hmm. She always keeps it clear, so her uh -huh. face is seen. Yeah. But it's what you call traction alopecia. So can you turn to the right? So she pulls it back too much, and that creates a lot of tension on the hair roots. And it kind of breaks the hair. Mm -hmm. So I'm telling her the first thing, when you do, I mean, I understand that you want to do it this way, but then you massage mm -hmm. your hair a bit this way so you don't mm -hmm. get the tension on the roots. Oh, so it's not constantly. Yes, it's constantly cool. being, you know, traction. Uh, and we're going to do a hair treatment. We're going to use exosomes for her to make her hair grow a lot thicker strands and more hair. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to give her my very, and something I'm so proud of, uh, this shampoo and conditioner that we've developed, that I people love that. keep telling. I know you're using I it, okay, it. great. It smells like banana, that's why I like it. <laughs> so do you use it still? or that I was use a, it whenever one I can get I... my hands on it. Oh, oh no, I bought it like three other times. Oh, I see, she pays for <laughs> I pay for it, yes. Okay, so we're going to do that, and then of course, and it will show you how to increase your hair. Yes, Scarlett, somebody wants to say something, come here. No, you're going to tell us first, what are you going to do? How much money did you win? Well, 14,000. She has 14,000. Scarlett, what are you going to do with the money? 
Come on, baby. I'm saving money to buy my best friend uh, air wheel scooter. It's like, it's a luggage that you sit on it and then it's a scooter. Mm-hmm. Say bye, everybody. Bye, bye, everybody. And how, what, how much money I'm going to go. I got 10,000 pesos. What are you going to do with it? Um, I'm going to donate it. Mm -hmm. to save the children Philippines. Okay. <laughs> Why do you like attending Fashion Week? I know this is something you enjoy doing. Um, I've actually never attended Fashion You've Week. You've gone before. to New York. I've gone to New York for um, like an H&M Mugler thing and that was my first ever like kind of Fashion Week experience, but I've never been to the actual okay. Fashion Week shows. So Well, honestly. you know, for me, who has experienced a lot of things, it's really such a thrill, mm -hmm. you know, to just go there. And it's so exciting because everyone on the street dresses up so well. It's like a party. Yeah. You see so many people from everywhere. And, you know, it's just a different vibe. There's an excitement in the air. Mm -hmm. So I I'm really imagine. looking forward to being with you. And uh, until then, for Fashion Week in Milan, take care, everyone. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment comment down below and thank you so much thank hope you, for being here take care everyone take see care. you next time